15 years ago, Rose moved from her rural village to the capital city in search of a better life. She's one of many people moving to a city to be close to opportunities. But now her home is in a slum, with access to very few jobs and services. To harness shared prosperity, Rose and her family need productive jobs, affordable housing and efficient infrastructure. Urban populations in Africa will double within the next 25 years and reach 1 billion people by 2040. The continent has a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to get urbanization right. In Africa, the concentration of people in cities has not been accompanied by economic density. Typical African cities share three features that constrain urban development. They're crowded, disconnected and therefore costly. Compared to Asian and Latin American cities, African cities have 40% fewer neighbors to interact with and there's 20% more fragmentation near the city center. African cities are also 29% more expensive than cities in countries at similar income levels. To grow economically as they're growing in size, Africa's cities must open their doors to the world. They need to specialize in manufacturing and produce more goods and services for trade in international and regional markets. And to achieve that, cities need to offer incentives to investors through agglomeration and higher productivity. Cities also must become more livable to their residents by offering services, amenities and housing for the poor and middle class. African governments can create cities that work by reforming land markets and regulations and by prioritizing early and coordinated investments in neighborhood infrastructure and services. Cities in Africa are growing rapidly. Productive and livable cities will open Africa's doors to the world.